guy right here, man. That's right. He's a good this guy. Is, this is my guy. With here's, me and here's, him, the, here's the most interesting fellow right Yeah, here. no doubt. I mean, and you know, I was here when you made that happen. I was like, any is, guy that would go get that out of storage, you'd be like, no, I'm putting this up. We're going to get a big elk to go in here, a big mule deer. I'm get my, I got a big skull that's going on. I, I got a big old skull that makes that one small. All right, Coach, uh, you're now settled in as best you can be, I guess. You know, we've been here a couple months now. Uh, what was it like when you got that call about coming here to Colorado to coach Coach Prime? Uh, it was exciting. You know, uh, I, I spent a lot of time in northwest corner of Nebraska for close to about 20 years uh, coaching and teaching up there at a Division II school. So just being able to get back out in this country and, and uh, being a head coach up there and as coach as long as I was and, and knowing all the high school coaches in Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, and kind of this region. So it, it was good to get back. And it was good to get back to, I have a daughter who's in Shadron, Nebraska. And this is the closest I've been to her as far as uh, having a job where she can be able to get down and spend some time with her and uh, be able to go up there and spend some time with her. You know, I am amazed and, and continue to be blown away at the the resumes of the staff. So many head coaches are on this staff and, and various position coaches. Uh, talk to us about what that kind of experience means for this program. Uh, obviously, I mean, with, with Coach Prime, it, it's a huge advantage to be able to bounce things off of us and, and kind of get a different perspective of uh, how things are run at different places, mm -hmm. different ideas. Uh, and he's all about that, man. He, he's open to suggestions, uh, not closed-minded, uh, and especially with being with Coach Lewis and some of the other coaches on the staff that have been head coaches, and listen to their ideas. You know, it's I think it's you 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 can't find a better situation where where you surround yourself with people like that that you can run ideas off of and, and get a different look at. I, right, you know, this is what I need to do and. You know, maybe I need to take this angle, and especially with the way kids are right now. You know, how to deal with different situations and, and uh, the different backgrounds and, and uh, the kids we're working with right now. You know, you, uh, over the offensive line, and no pressure, as you know football, it starts in the trenches and ends in the trenches. You know, we're going to go as far as the offensive line or defensive line takes us. What, what are some of those qualifiers you look for personnel-wise when you're thinking about recruiting a kid and, and can he help you in your system? Uh, first thing is, you know, especially after listening to Coach Prime tell me we better protect his son, you know, I better find some athletic guys and get in front of somebody, you know, so that's, that's a big deal. Uh, that honestly does run through my mind now when I look at guys. But, no, I'm, I don't think anything's changed. Uh, we, we run a, a specific system. Uh, the tight tempo uh, that the kid has to be an athlete. You know, that's that's the first thing I look at with an, with an offensive lineman. Uh, they have to be able to run because of how much pulling we do uh, of our tempo. Uh, can't carry a lot of bad weight. And if they do, like some kids can, uh, they, got, they have to be able to be conditioned and be able to stay on the field uh, for 15 play drives. Mm -hmm and not get wore out. So for, for what, what we, we do, do offensively, it, it takes a different type of kid. And like I said, the athletic part, and, and another thing I look at is, is the physical part of it. How do they finish? You know, where are they at when the whistle blows? You know, and, and uh, they have to be around the ball carrier or, or the receiver or whoever. Uh, and they got to push the herd, you know, with our offense. I mean, they, they have to be set, ready to go, get the call, and, and, and smart. And uh, guys that can make adjustments on the run, not have a memory. Yeah. And, and like I said before, I, th I think finish is a huge thing for me. Practice starting March 19th. Now we're through that. We're going through the uh, strength, and, uh, strength and conditioning phase right now. How important is it for those guys, your linemen, to be in shape to practice so they can get those installs and get the mechanics down? It's it's imperative that they are in shape, you know, cardiovascular wise. Uh, by the time we hit spring ball, everybody talks about tempo and everybody, oh, we run tempo, and we we do this and that. It's different, you know, and that these guys they won't realize it until those first two practices hit, you know, uh, of how fast we actually go, 
and, and you don't have time to be tired. You know, and I'm, I've been hitting these guys and they're all shaking their heads going, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll be in shape, we'll be in shape. And it's not just the stuff we're doing now because we only get so many hours, eight hours a week with these guys. They have to be doing something beyond that. And if they aren't, I've told them a million times, you, you're going to wear out, you're going to die. I mean, it's, it's going to be rough on you. Yeah. You know, and, and, so and thereby be replaced. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and it's everybody's starting on the same page right now. Uh, you know, there there is no pecking order. You know, uh, there is no set chart. Yeah. You know, who's going to show up and who's going to be that guy that answers the bell. You know, and that's you know you're going to remind them all the time, but they'll see firsthand here. Uh, what can the fans expect out of your old O line? <sighs> you know, the biggest thing is is I hope. They see that we finish, you know, and I've hit on that a couple of times, you know, where they're at, you know, and, uh, you know, for me, it's just coming off the ball, you know, and, and that no quit attitude, that finish to the whistle, that that grind that I want them to have, you know, and, and they're different, you know, and I coach them a little bit different uh, technique wise of what we do, but I want us to be sound. I want us to be smart. And, and the biggest thing is we better be finishing every play. You know, or, or they're not going to make it in this system. They're, they won't make it with me. Push the pile. Push the pile. And slot down here. Excuse me. Special blue wing bunch. All right. And then are you at year two? Just the mindset of the team and how to train and made it very black and white so that guys either had to make a choice of you're going to come on board and you're going to do it the right way or. There's going to be so many guys doing it the right way that's going to be uncomfortable and you're going to bug out otherwise, right? Like make the choice to either commit to it or, or get gone. So. Well, I'm the offensive line coach. This will be my 37th year going into college ball. I've been at every level. In college, it's the highest level. Uh, this is a dream come through, and I can't wait to get to spring ball. And I hope you guys are part of it and are in here. So I'm looking forward to meeting every one of you guys that's here. Ask all the questions. Be a winner. Come to see you. Thank you.